good morning everybody. Welcome to the Vogue Reptile Army. I hope to start your day is incredible. I am gonna attempt the impossible. Never been done before. Well, that's not, that might be overstretching a little bit. But the fact is we've got Jazz right here, we've got Ivy here, and we got Ariana up in the tree. I am gonna attempt to feed all three anacondas at the same time. At the same time. Well, within seconds of each other, in the same enclosure. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it is gonna be absolutely epic. What do you say we grab some food? Go into the lion's den and feed these anacondas. All right, so here I am, and it looks like uh, Ariana is already ready to go over here. I'm gonna go ahead like this. Dang it. Ah, that's one anaconda down. Ariana's there. But look at Ivy. Ivy's already like, oh my gosh, I can smell a rabbit. I gotta get over here quick. I gotta get over here quick for Ivy. Oh, she took it over there. All right, that's two out of three. It's so crazy to see Ivy here. Ariana in the tree. Ariana, let go. I've got to be careful. I've got to watch my back a little bit. But let's see if we can get Jazz interested and some food here. Not sure. It's in the water. A lot of times they will smell in the water and come up. Now, Jazz, it's the first time that I've actually fed him because he he's been, went through a shed. But we'll see if he wants to come up and take a meal. He's coming up. He seems interested. Come on, Jazz. Oh, he went back down. Went back down. I don't know if we're going to get all three here. Again, I'm looking in my back here. And Ariana's over here. Gotta definitely keep a close eye on these guys because we don't want them fighting over food either. But boy, I wish I could get the third anaconda to eat. Come on, he seems interested, but he's just not there. But now he's coming up to the surface a little bit. Looks super interested. There it goes, it took it. So we made a success, guys. We have three anacondas eating at the same time. Jazzy's in the water. Ivy's over here on land. We've got Ariana up in the tree. Woo, we're talking. What a way to start the morning. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. I'm sitting in here in an enclosure with three big anacondas, all with rabbits. Now, I do have to keep a close eye on all these guys. I think we're okay with Jazzy down here. Hopefully, Ivy won't want to drag that rabbit into the water like sometimes does. Gonna have to keep an eye. And I think Ariana's gonna be okay up in the tree here, but whoo, I tell you what, that's a little bit tricky, guys, but this is absolutely incredible. Take a look at guys, love is in the air. We've got our black headed pythons locked up. Of course, Snap and Pop, so excited about this. I've never produced black headed pythons before. I produced Walma pythons, the other species of the Aspidites from Australia, but never the black headed pythons. So we have a good lock with Snap and Pop right now. Again, what I've mentioned before is that now we're starting to feed the female a lot more, of course, Pop, and we're gonna feed her up a little bit. Hopefully she'll start to ovulate. Hopefully she'll have eggs here in another two or three months. That is just absolutely absolutely incredible that they're breeding. And again, I think it's great because they have this large enclosure, just like they would have over in Australia in the wild. And I think that it's really paying off. And I think we're gonna see that with more and more animals here at the Reptarium as the years go by. That we've had kind of a hard time to breed in the past, but when we put them in these types of enclosures, they start to breed. But I am so excited that Snap and Pop have been breeding up a storm. So this is where we have to be super careful because Ariana actually just drug her rabbit into the water. You guys know anacondas love to go in the water. I just think it's easier for them to eat. They're wired that way, right? So now we've got, of course, Jazz just finishing up his rabbit. And then of course we've got Ariana about three quarters of the way through. So I've got to make sure that they both finish about the same time or if they don't, I've got to keep them separate because I don't want Jazz to go after Ariana's. And then of course we've got Ivy in the back there. She's still being good on land. Let's hope she doesn't drag it into the water because then we're gonna have a real problem. But uh, this is the problem with feeding animals in the same enclosure. But in this case, we have all three in the same enclosure and it just makes it the easiest for us to do so. We'll just keep a really close eye to make sure there's no fights. So it's interesting, love is in the air, like I mentioned with the black-headed pythons. Well, Nova and Lilith seem to be going through it again. Remember, Lilith just laid a clutch of eggs about a week ago. Well, sure enough, they are together up here. I've never seen them in this spot ever. Lilith is usually in the other corner and then Nova will go up there. But today, Lilith is in the other side. And of course, Nova seems like, hey baby, what are you doing up there? So uh, hopefully we'll get another clutch of eggs here in another about five weeks. Guys, Reptile Army Halloween stuff has been so popular. Of course, we have all kinds of designs. But listen, we actually have a preview of a shirt that I'm actually pretty excited about. 
Holidays are coming, so Christmas stuff is about to drop. You can still get the old swag, you get Halloween stuff, because hey, you can wear Halloween stuff all year round. But early November, we're gonna be dropping the Christmas gear. And that's right, this is just one of many designs coming, so stay tuned to that. Go over to reptilearmy.com and join the army. You guys know the gig with my girl Butterscotch. I've got a family in the house from North Carolina. How are you guys? Hi. All right, so they're gonna get a chance to see Butterscotch. The idea is, of course, to get her to strike out at me and then throw the rabbit up in the air and have her catch it out of there. So let's see what we can get done. Ooh, come on, Butterscotch. Come on. Where's she at? Come on, Butterscotch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here she comes. Here you go, Butterscotch, Butterscotch. Come on. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, here we go. Oh, she caught it perfectly. What do you guys think? That's cool. Was that awesome, that was awesome, bud? All right, good job. All right, that worked out really well. Butterscotch is absolutely amazing. That's one anaconda down with Jazz now finished. Now we've got two more to go. Matilda, where are you going, sweetheart? You know, we always let Matilda kind of walk around the reptile zoo as much as we possibly can because she needs a lot of exercise. And like I'd mentioned a few, you know, maybe a week or so ago, we're gonna make an giant enclosure for her so she can walk around in kind of a circle and feel like she's constantly moving when we get the new reptarium expansion done. But she is just such a special animal. It's crazy to think that she's gonna get up to three times the size one day. I mean, she is so cool. To have a pet tortoise this big is absolutely wonderful. Matilda, you're such a good girl. Thank you so much. And there it is, Ariana is finished as well. So Jazz is finished, Ariana is finished. They're both in the water, which is exactly where I want them to be. Now you know Ivy takes forever to eat, so let's just go ahead and wait to see her finish, and then we are all set. You know, I always have fun feeding snakes, and it's been a while since we've done an entire zoo feeding video. Let me know in the comments in the next couple days if you want to see, like, feeding everything at the zoo. We can feed rodents off, we can feed crickets and bugs and roaches and all kinds of stuff like that. That's something I really love to do, but I want to make sure you guys are all into it. I think my guy Marshmallow is definitely in favor for sure because he always gets a nice big meal. So let me know in the comments if you guys like these feeding videos and you want to see an entire zoo feeding video. And Ivy finally took it. This girl takes forever to get started. But once she actually takes the meal, she gets done like in five minutes. So that is a big weight off my shoulder. I'm looking at these animals thinking, please don't let them go by that rabbit. So Ivy is getting going. I know she's gonna crush it and this is gonna be a success. I'm super excited. My friends Ari and Rio are in town. You guys are opening up an awesome reptile zoo in Texas. That is correct. Oh my God. And we're gonna be on the podcast tonight talking all about their amazing place. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. So what do you guys say we go do it? Let's do it. All right, yeah, let's, let's go. It. Let's go. There's, there's still a difficult snake to locate in the yeah, wild. Yeah, so where, are they, to take me on this, okay. like where do you go? Like okay. you're you're flying in somewhere, and I don't need specific locations because oh, yeah. I don't want people to be like, I'm going there. Yeah, but I'm going to go me, take them all. Give me yeah, the yeah. overall top, top so graphic. It, it take, you know. it, so basically, I fly into a major city in Indonesia. It's in Jakarta. I fly yeah. in there, and then I've got to take another series of planes. Uh, which uh, it's always hard. Series yeah. of planes. <laughs> series yeah, 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 yeah. of planes, yeah. which progresses. And Jakarta's already days. like you know twenty hours. Oh yeah. god, yeah. yeah. It's, it's. I mean, I mean, you know, I'm sure you've been to Jakarta. Yeah, I've been to Jakarta. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a long yeah, flight. Yeah, it sucks. Like, yeah. I mean, no matter which way, if you go through Dubai, you go through Japan. It, it's, yeah. It sucks no matter yeah, what. Yeah, exactly. And it's you know the nice thing is I like sushi, so when I do the Japan thing, at least I get sushi on the yeah, flight. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's true. Yeah. So so you know I've got a series of planes that I get there. It takes about I'd say about two and a half days to get to actually where I need to go, and that's just plane travel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then right. from there, I'm taking a vehicle, I'm renting a vehicle from some local or something like that, you know, and then I get in there and uh, then it takes me about another day to get situated and then get up to the site, which is about, you know, anywhere from three to six hours, depending on how the terrain has progressed that season. If it's yeah. been really rainy, if it's been really, you know, like they've had, uh, you know, some uh, some kind of disaster that's big happened. Storms yeah, stuff, big yeah. storms. Knocking something like a lot that. of trees yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and or even um, you know a lot of the construction now because you know they're mining out there all the time where they're right. doing everywhere. So you know a big rock bulldozer will come over and knock over everything and Jeez. you know and just tear down a whole mountain. So I've got to find another place to to way to get up. Wow. So it takes several days to get there. But I had been planning. 
this trip, um, I mean, as with my other trips go, you know, I've been trying to, to figure a time where I could go out there and time it to see when the eggs are actually hatching. Right. And I had been missing it by like weeks right. uh, or, or, you know, or a month. And I just happened to plan it right. I got there. I got in time, which was fine. I got down to a site. I looked down into a nest and there was three babies pipping out oh of an egg. Oh my gosh. That's got to be the most insane. crazy thing. It was the, the moment where I was like crying. I don't, I don't yeah. care how, you know, it sounds that was just like this emotional like just like wow i'm actually seeing this in yeah. person all those miles that all you, those uh, miles that i it, yeah it's just like and and just like you know all the blood sweat and tears you know yeah. just like looking at this so then it, immediately it was like okay i gotta refocus you know i'm setting up trail cams i'm setting up cameras i'm doing data loggers i'm putting everything out i'm doing soil samples to check everything and all the parameters of what's going on so we're actually at a place called detroit axe lori needs to get some aggression out noah uh, i don't know what's going to happen here but it's a really cool place Place. You can see over on the wall there, there's actually a bunch of games. You can actually play games on here, but uh, we're going to get a little bite to eat, and then we're going to go up there, and we're going to throw some axes. Lori's already drinking, so uh, that's <laughs> good, I think. It uh, should be a lot of fun. You think this is going to be dangerous? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Now we start the game of actually throwing axes here. Noah's been doing really good, but I actually have Lori is my competition. So we'll see how this goes. 15 throws, who's gonna win? Well, I'm gonna bet. She's betting on her. She'll probably win. Lori and Noah are actually throwing right now. Lori's actually really good. Noah's doing good, so uh, starting to get the hang of it. This is actually a lot of fun. Can I ask you about the time you got stabbed with the axe? Yes, you can ask. Will you not answer? <laughs> I threw, and it was not a great throw. <laughs> the axe came back at me. No. It got my finger. What? On the way down, and then it got my ankle. Oh! Here, on the day off, practicing, I was supposed to pick my wife up at the airport about an hour after this happened. And so I had to call and leave her a message like, oh, no. someone else is going to be picking you up from the airport because I'm going to be in the ER. Oh no! And a friend of ours went and got her, and it was all cool. But that's crazy. It was a bit of a production yeah, that day. And guess what guys, it was a success. We've got Ariana coming to actually investigate. Ivy is finally done with her rabbit. We fed three anacondas in the same cage at the same time. Never done that before and it was absolutely incredible. If you enjoyed this video, you wanna watch some other feeding videos, here's a playlist right here with feeding videos. On this side, do me a favor, hit that subscription button, turn your post notifications on, it means the world to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you in the next one.